Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, we're going to look at creating an induction process, as you can see on the screen right now. So, what I'm going to do is recreate this from scratch. So, I'm going to File. Now, because I've already used one, it's sitting there um, in the recently used list, so I'll just click on this one. That's where it's going to be, a workflow diagram. And then you've got some options here, different types of flows. Uh, this is the one I'm going to select, this top one. So click on that one and click Create. And then you get some sample data and some tips at the bottom there, which you can click on and delete. And Control A and delete to get rid of all of that. And then the stencils that you're going to use are uh, down this left hand side. So you've got departments at the top, different departments, different objects in there. Then you've got workflow objects, person, and then steps, different steps there. So this is unique to everybody really. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is create a background page so design borders and titles and let's pick this one so that puts a background page and for you to edit this you need to go onto the background page and then click to where you want to type so it's easy training always do that typo slightly annoying induction process I'll call this so that's already got the date on the page number is going to be there so I click on page one and then I'm ready to start bringing my shapes on so you can see on this section of the stencil that you actually do have a start option so that's absolutely huge so let's make that a lot smaller so the first uh, person I want is the person that's been inducted so I need a person so there's a person so let's bring this person in now I'm not going to connect it up at, at the minute but you've got different shapes coming out uh, I don't want another person but I want this guy to go into reception so I need to find reception from here so if I go to departments there should be one for reception. So I want human HR, I want finance, but I want reception first. So I just need to find reception. There she blows. Drag that on there. So they're going to go into reception. Now, I've added at the top here a connected tool. So basically, from the home tab, I just right clicked, add to quick access toolbar so I don't have to keep coming back to the home tab. So I want to just connect this person to the reception. And in the middle of this, I'm just going to double click on it. I want to type issue pass, because that's what's going to happen there. I need to take the connector tool off. And now the next step is copying the person. Um, in fact, before I copy the person, let's just undo this. I need to name the person so if I just double click on him this is new employee then now I can copy the person so move him to where I want it to go but hold my control key down that gives me the copy let go get the new person do a connector so he's moving that way so the next place he's going to is going to be get rid of that into finance so I need to find the department finance I just saw it two seconds ago it's further up can't find finance there it is finance and while I'm looking at these departments I'll just get HR as well because I could have saw that there human resources next to it so that's the next one and I'll just sit that over there. So now what I want to do is do a line from him into finance and then type what's going to happen 
here. So if I just get rid of my connector tool for a second, double click on this line, um, issue PAYE, then that's what's going to happen there. Connector tool from finance, we need the person, so I need to get him again. So let's move him, move him with my control key into the middle. Control key down, let go, and get the connector tool, pull it across. Now you can have the connector tool on all the time and it will automatically connect up, um, but I like to do it myself. Now that's not lined up, so what I need to do there is move him down with the arrow keys, so that makes that one lined up, and then push, push HR up. Now I need to double click on HR just to label it as HR. Same with finance, finance, so you can see what these things are, and then just go back out again so we can see what's happening. So in HR, um, we are going to get the next of kin, next of kin, and now we're ready to move on to the next bit. So I need another person, and this time I'm going to put him down on the line below. And do a connector tool from HR around to the top of him. Like so. That's good. Take that off. Now we're going to meet our team. So we need to find our manager. So looking down here, I'm not seeing manager. We've got, these are just departments. If I go into objects, we've got different things in there. We've got documents, assets, income, manager. All right, so I want to meet the manager. So let's meet the manager. That's my manager. I need a connector tool. Pull that down, connect him up. And then we're going to just type in the middle of that what we're doing meet manager and then after that we need to meet the team so I need to find a team there's a team so I'll put the team over there and then I'll connect up from the manager to the team so meeting the team and pointer tool just double click on the line meet team and then after we've met, met the team we are going to look at a company presentation so there's a presentation sign so I missed a couple of steps out I need to move my man into there which you can do so control key sits in the middle move him across a bit and I don't like that line like that so let's move him right across so he's lined up, up a bit. So I'm using the arrow keys, trying to get that lined up. No, it's not having that line straight, so I'm not going to mess about too much with that. I'm not too fussed. So we met the team, and then I need to sit in the middle of these two. And move that one across a little bit. And put the connecting tools on there. So we've met the team, and now we're going to watch a presentation. So put that on there. Watch presentation. And then this is company presentation. Press. Move that over a little bit. And then after we've watched the presentation, we can meet our sponsor. So what I need now is another person. So we get another person who's going to be our sponsor. Sponsor. So then I need myself or the new person to come over to sit next to him. Again, 
me sponsor up a little bit. So that's a moving moving horizontal. Put the lines back in. So then you get your little connector, connect it up, move it across. So then move him across. And then with the sponsor, they're now going to go to work. So I need wherever they're working. So workflow steps. They are going to work in one of these departments. And in fact, I need departments, not workflow steps. Quality assurance is what I'm after. They both work there. So then you do two connectors, one from each of these to the top of oops to the top of quality assurance like so take the connector tool off so that's as simple as that how you create your little workflow process using these little shapes and you can obviously do all the stuff that you would normally do. Um, change the colour. I should have coloured this up first if I was going to do this, but so the sponsor could be a different colour to this man. So he's just going to be red all the way across. So you're just using the fill tools there to make it stand out a bit more. So wherever the red person is, that's where you need to be. You could say to the new person that's coming into your company, and you just give that they arrive. Reception probably would give them this document. I used to run a charity and we used to have everything uh, like this done in Visio. It's quite easy to follow rather than a massive manual. In terms of um, what you give to your employees, I think a pictorial diagram like this where you can actually follow it through is a lot easier to understand than lists, tables and things like that. But that's the end of this session. Hope you've enjoyed that and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for your time.